Hello, good morning, or potentially afternoon, if you're joining us from the East Coast. We are going to get started in just a minute or so, but we're going to give everyone a chance to get logged on. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Alicia. I'm the national speaker here at BombBomb. Bomb. And today, for this special partner, session between BombBomb Bomb and Shape Mortgage CRM. I'm also joined today by Josh. Welcome, Josh. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So we're still just going to wait another minute and give everyone a chance to get logged in. Um, but while we're waiting for everyone, um, just want to make you aware of the Q&A box as well as the chat box. Um, you're welcome to open up that chat window and use it as we move throughout the content today. Let us know if you see something exciting or if you've tried something that I show you and it worked or um, if you want, just open it up, say hello, let us know where you are joining us from today so that we can say hi. Um, in chat today, I have both Shannon from Shape Mortgage CRM, as well as Todd from BombBomb Bomb that are going to be helping answer questions as well. See, we've got some Kansas City, we've got Dallas, Texas, we've got California. Oh, I see a Boulder, Colorado. Oh, that's Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> David Brown, howdy from Solvang. I was just uh, in that area for spring break with my kids a couple weeks ago. My brother lives in Solvang and I took my kids to Pismo Beach. It was spectacular. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I see those numbers uh, slowing down. So again, welcome to the Bomb Bomb and Shape Mortgage CRM session. Um, our goal today is really to help you understand what these two products together can really do for you. So um, we're going to talk about both the ways that lenders just like you are using BombBomb Bomb in their day-to-day -day business. And we're also going to talk about the functionality that's there in the Shape CRM um, to really help you streamline this and leverage the technology at your fingertips to save yourself some time and build better relationships. So I'm going to jump in. Um, again, if you just logged in, my name is Alicia. I work for BombBomb. Bomb. I'm the national speaker. I'm joined by Josh. He is an account executive at Shape Mortgage. So to start today, we're going to talk a little bit about why video. We're just going to touch on that, though. I know a lot of you already believe in video, but I want to remind you why this is so powerful in your sales process, as well as through the loan origination process. And I'm going to show you four opportunities for video in your day-to-day -day business, the ways that we see lenders using video really, really successfully. Um, and then we're going to show you what it looks like inside of the Shape Mortgage CRM. Josh is going to show you how easy it is to add videos to the places in your process. And then, of course, we're going to take time for questions. So we live in a very video-centric society right now. We know this, we've seen it happen over the last several years. Um, I've been in the real estate and mortgage industry for six years. And six years ago, I was hearing coaches and speakers and educators say, you gotta use video, you gotta use video. But we look at the way that video has really taken over marketing and social media. And it was just another evolution of our communication, right? Commun humans have been communicating face to face for as long as we've been communicating. And so much of the evolution in technology around communication has been to help us gap space and time and distance, right? We think about the invention of the phone, right? Or text messages or emails or social media. It was all about helping us be more connected and communicating more effectively. And video is just another tool like that. You've probably seen lots of video for marketing on social media, on your websites, but what we're really gonna focus on is using video as a communication tool and why that's so powerful. Um, faces are persuasive. These are my three children. Uh, this actually works better if I had cute little babies, but I don't have cute babies anymore. I have smelly, attitude teenagers. Um, but there's so much data around how important it is for us to see a human face. All of the ways that we evolved 
as humans to understand information, to whether we can trust someone or not. These are things that are all contained in our human faces. So Richard Wiseman, he is a professor and a researcher, and he actually did this study called the Lost Wallet Study. And what they did is they dropped wallets all over the city of Edinburgh, Scotland, but the wallets were not all the same. So some of the wallets contained pictures of babies. Some of the wallets contained pictures with family pictures, family portraits, and some of the wallets had zero pictures in them, okay? So the wallets that had babies in them were returned 88% of the time, okay? The wallets that had family pictures in them were returned 48% of the time. The wallets that didn't have any human faces in them were only returned 15% of the time. So the simple act of having a picture of a human face in the wallet meant that a stranger that picked it up on the ground was more likely to return it because they recognized the humanity in those faces, right? A wallet that doesn't have any faces in it. Eh, they probably just took the money, they didn't care. But when they saw a human face, they had that human response. They felt, you know, the humanity and they returned the wallet. So our faces are really, really powerful, which is why this idea of using video to build relationships and provide a better customer experience through the loan process and maintain those relationships is so important because so much of who we are and the way people can connect to us is in our faces. So at the beginning of 2021, I did a quick Google search um, while I was preparing a session and I really just searched sales trends for 2021. And these are some of the things that came up in that search. And I'm gonna read this quote first. This comes from Dan Tyre. He's a sales director at HubSpot. And he said, I am confident that video will stick in 2021. The underlying statistics are undeniable. Salespeople who use video will connect at three times the rate of those who don't. So the data shows not only do we know that faces are powerful and this is how we can communicate most effectively, but all of the data is pointing to the fact that this is a better way to connect through the sales process and to communicate. Uh, some of the other highlights there that popped up, uh, converting on camera will be everything in 2021. Video for sales outreach will have a much greater presence. Uh, sales reps will thrive with empathy and understanding, fostering a human connection, right? You're seeing all of these things that point to the fact that people want more human connection in that sales process, right? You are a human being first and foremost, and people want to work with someone that they know, like, and trust a person. And so this is just about giving you that opportunity to leverage that faster. So Real quick before I move into the examples, um, why video for mortgage? Well, number one, it creates an opportunity for connection and real conversations, especially earlier on in the process. Number two, it completely differentiates you, both from any other lenders that they may be talking to, as well as any junk in their inbox, right? We have so much digital pollution that makes it hard for you to break through the noise right? Especially if they're shopping around. They may have been on Zillow and Realtor.com and they may have gone to a few different lender websites and now they have tons of people reaching out and sending messages to them and everyone wants something from them. But if you show up with the video, you get to make that human connection right away, which is a huge advantage to you. And then this last one, this is huge for the loan origination process. Uh, when we watch a video, we retain 95% of that information as opposed to only 10% when reading it in text the first time. So if you think about how much of your job as a loan originator is explaining things or setting expectations or asking for a list of documents, the simple fact of sending the video to them means that they are going to understand it and retain it better. Um, before I show you the actual opportunities, I just want to give you some high level general ideas of places in your business where video is more effective, okay? Uh, the first time, a general idea for a clue that you could send a video here, if you are establishing or building a connection, right? This no like, and trust piece, if you are still building a connection with someone, send the video. It's going to be more effective. 
Uh, anytime you have to explain complex information, it is going to benefit you to send the video. Uh, we're gonna even show you how you can do that with the screen recorder. And then the third time, if tone or emotion matters, it's gonna be better to send the video. You have ever sent or received a text message that was misunderstood or an email because tone was missing? Or if you've ever sent an email to a client and they thought you were mad at them because tonality wasn't there? This is why if tone or emotion matters, send the video. Uh, for those of you that love data, before I show you the examples, I just wanna give you some hard data here, some actual measurable outcomes when you send the video as opposed to plain text communication. Uh, we see consistently a 56% lift in replies and responses. If you're having a hard time getting people to reply to your emails, when you send a video, it's easy to ignore a plain text email. It's hard to ignore a human being asking you for something, okay? More replies and responses. More appointments set and held. When we send videos, to confirm appointments, people are more likely to hold that appointment because again, they know that there is, they've made that connection. There's a human being that's excited to talk to me. I can't bail on a human, right? It's easy to ignore a Google Calendar notification. It's different when you get a video from me saying, I'm so excited to chat with you today. So really effective there. Higher close rates. We see a 68% increase in close rates because our loan officers are making the human connection faster and then a greater ability to stay in touch effectively. Huge 90% lift in the ability to just stay in touch with your past clients, to stay in front of them and help them stay connected to you. So I'm gonna show you guys these four opportunities for video in your day-to-day -day workflow. This is the fun part. This is where you can really start to see um, how this will make a difference in your business and save you some time and streamline your process. So the first example is that first touch, your lead response. Um, doesn't matter whether the lead is coming to you via a realtor, if it's coming to you automated into your system, this is a powerful opportunity to make that first point of contact. And you can do it in the moment, right? You can have a lead come in and record a quick video and introduce a personal video to them where you say their name. Or you can also have it set up as an automation. And I think this is an area, um, Josh, where um, Shape can help you with those automations, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, this is really where we're able to provide a ton of value uh, through automation by leveraging these video messages. Um, one of the really great things about our platform, specifically for folks in the mortgage industry, is that we've created a ton of content that comes with your Shape account ready to use right out of the box. So we have drip campaigns ready to go for all different scenarios. We have notifications already created for you. Um, when you add your own personal touch by creating a video, every time we deliver that messaging for you uh, automatically, it's including that video messaging. And something that I've found over time is that your open rate, your read rate, and your response rate goes up quite a bit as a result yeah. uh, because you may have recipients of your emails or text messages that have no interest in reading any of that content. But when they can click a button and watch your video, uh, it really goes a long way. Yeah. So is there something in Shape Software, um, a lead, like a lead funnel where um, they can have an automation set up that when a lead comes in, it kicks out that first video? Absolutely. And that's really the first place where our clients are kind of benefiting from that automation. As soon as our system captures a lead that you've generated somewhere online, uh, we can automatically be delivering the correct nurture content to those leads so that nobody is slipping through the cracks. As you guys grow your business, you will have less and less time to call everybody in your database. Yeah. So to be able to speak to them anyway in an automated fashion is incredibly valuable. Yeah. Well, and like I said, at, you know, with going through the reasons why, not only does it give you the opportunity to really start building trust right away, but it is, it's that differentiation, right? If I'm getting emails from five different vendors 
and only one of them has a video in it, well, who am I going to feel a little bit more connected to and a little bit more comfortable with right out of the gate? It's the lender that I've already got to meet. So I'm going to play this example. Um, this is one of our clients. This is Ty Star, And um, you'll notice that this one is a personal one. So he actually says her name. But you can do this just as effectively with that automated first touch that Shape Mortgage CRM is just going to kick out for you automatically. So obviously, an automated one won't say the person's name, but we also have training. Um, we have frameworks to help you record that automated video so that it sounds personal and is really effective. But check out Ty's uh, first touch video. Hey, Shirley, it's a Ty Star. I just left you a voicemail um, at your 423 phone number. I'm out here in Lake Oswego, and I just wanted to connect with you and just say hi. And like I said in, in the voicemail, you're getting a ton of phone calls. I know uh, it's, the, it's the nature of the bees with lending tree, and you get a lot of area codes you don't recognize. But like I said in the voicemail, uh, most Oregonians tend to like to work with local people. And I know you're out in Estacada. I'm out in Lake Oswego. I live in Beaverton. Interesting. You guys aren't getting audio. Is that correct on the video? Oh, okay. Okay. So some people got it and some people did not Interesting. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm glad that some of you heard it. I apologize for those of you that didn't. I'm not sure. You may want to just check your settings. I'm not sure. Um, okay. All right. I'm just reading my chat here to see what we've got for audio going. So basically, for those of you that didn't hear the video, he just introduces himself, right? He says that, you know, I know that you might be getting hit up by a lot of lenders. I'm local. I wanted to introduce myself. So really, really effective there to really set up the tone and build that trust and make the connection quickly. So one of the second opportunities that I know lenders are loving using video is for the updates. Now, there's a few different ways that you can do this. Number one, you have your weekly updates that you're doing anyway, right? I know that you are having to go through your files and update clients as well as agents on what's happening in the process. So we see a lot of lenders using video for this. Number one, they say it saves them a lot of time, right? It's easier to record that video and send it out to everyone than it is to actually try and type out all of the information. But in addition to that, you're getting that clarity of tone, right? You get to explain as you, the trusted professional, what's going on. Um, saves everyone time because it keeps them on the same page. But then the third thing, and this is the real massive win, is that it provides an elevated customer experience through the entire process. Regardless of whether you're sending those quick personal updates or if you're using pre-recorded videos, to send those milestone updates, clients love it. In fact, I've had a lot of lenders tell me lately that this is showing up on their reviews. After the loan closes, they're seeing this show up on the reviews that people are writing, that they loved the videos that they got explaining every step of the way. So I'll show you this example in a minute. This is a in the moment, quick personal update to an agent on the file. Um, but I actually understand that um, Shape has videos for the milestone updates as well, or we can put videos for the milestone updates, but you guys already have content for milestones. Is that correct? We do. This is another example of where we are providing pre-written content you are absolutely welcome to change what we're providing you. You can create your own from scratch, but uh, we really allow you to hit the ground running by utilizing uh, the milestone updates that we've already created content for, both for email and text message. And with a click of a button in our CRM, you can access your BombBomb Bomb video library, pull a video into your messaging, and now every time our system auto delivers that message for you, it includes that personalized video. Which is such a great way to provide education on standard things, right? Because you have the ability to record the personal video for to provide an update, but then you also have this video library that you can access right inside of Shape to provide the education through the process to let them know what does escrow mean or, you know, we... Uh, 
I'm not sure whether it was with you or not, or another session where I joked, um, you know, you can have that video preloaded in your account to send out that says something along the lines of, hey, now that you're under contract as your lender, I want to remind you, don't go buy a car, right? So you can already have those videos uh, accessible, your bomb bomb video library accessible right inside of Shape so that you can send those out easily when they hit a milestone. Um, I saw a great question in here that I do want to adjust, address just right before I send the video. Um, Corey said, I haven't been doing video updates because processors and transaction coordinators like things in writing to save in the file. Would you send the video and then follow up with it in writing? Um, so what I would do is both. And in fact, I always encourage you that when you are sending a video, that you have the complimentary text in there. Now, you don't want to repeat everything in the email that you said in the video, and you don't need to transcribe it word for word. But the video can be there to provide the expert context, right? To connect, have the clarity of tone and information. But then you can just bullet point exactly you know what stage they're in what needs to happen what things you're waiting for any dates you can bullet point those underneath the video so that you have the context of the information there bullet pointed so they don't have to go back and watch the video multiple times and you've got the transcription there for the file but you've also done the video you've done the human part so i'm going to play this video for you so that you can see it um, you know, this one isn't a really complicated update, but again, because this is just an email or a text message, you're sending the video with it and then you just have your bullet points right underneath. So check out this quick update. Hey, what's up, Trent? Tyler Baker Movement Mortgage. Hey man, just uh, told you the other day we talked on the phone. I do these updates every single Thursday. Um, most of the time I do them by video, put a face to the name, all that stuff. Anyway, just your Thursday update for... Uh, the new construction that my buyers, Jim and Angela Williams, are purchasing um, from you. And let's see, we are out of underwriting. Um, you should have gotten an email on that if you didn't. Um, just a couple little small conditions. I'm pretty sure we've already got those cleared anyway. Uh, so basically all we're waiting on is the house to be done and to be appraised. So um, not much going on here. Should be pretty smooth sailing. I'm still trying to figure out that VA mandatory clause. Um, not sure what we're going to be able to do. So as you see, he's able to really deliver that update as a human being, but then he can just put that bullet point information under there. Um, one quick thing that I do want to mention, if you're noticing a lag between the audio and the video, that's not a function of BombBomb. Bomb. Your videos won't look like that. That is 100% a function of PowerPoint, screen share, Zoom, all of that. It kind of makes them lag. So, But just know you won't see that in your videos if that's something that you were worried about. So the third example, um, oh wait, I wanna show you the bonus screen recorder too, because this is so cool for updates. Um, we have a screen recorder built into the platform. So anywhere where you can record a video, you can also record your screen, which means inside of Shape, when you open up your recorder to record a video, you'll also have the ability to record your screen. So any digital information that you need to go over, whether it's a contract or a document, or you know, in this case, what he's doing is he's actually using the screen recorder on um, the county assessor's tax site to show them, to actually go through and show where the discrepancy in the tax paid is. So the cool thing about the screen recorder is that it keeps your video there in the corner so that you're able to provide that human context to digital information. When you're done, you just send it off the exact same way as you would send any email, right? There's nothing for them to download. They don't have to try and figure out how to watch it. They press play, and now you're showing them all of that digital information, the show and the tell. So check this out. Hey, guys. Joshua here again. Um, so it sounds like there's been a little bit of uh, maybe just kind of frustration or confusion about this whole thing. It's pretty standard every single sale. Uh, that it happens, uh, it was paid on 4-3. So now the bill is zero, right? So if I go back, um, I can go to payment history here and I can see also that the supplemental bill was paid on four, at four. So as you can see there with the screen recorder, he's able to even go through and click on different things and it just records anything that's on the screen. 
Um, Scott said that his used to be an oval, but a few months ago it switched to a rectangle. Yes, we did change the shape of the video box on the screen recorder. This is an older video from before we switched. So it is a rectangle now. Um, I don't know if there's a way to get back to a circle. Um, we might need to ask support about that, but I'm pretty sure our screen recorder now does have the rectangle instead of the circle. But um, good question, Scott. Okay, so the third um, opportunity for video in your mortgage business um, that is going to be a massive benefit to you is strengthening your referral network. So you have the ability um, through Shape as well as through BombBomb Bomb, to do mass sending out to an entire list of people. So one of the best things that you can do is to consistently show up in front of your referral network of agents with a video, but also providing value, okay? Don't just be sending mass emails to all of your agents just for the sake of it, because if you are not sending them information that is valuable to them, they're gonna stop opening your emails and you're gonna lose out on the benefit of this. But there's a term in um, social psychology called the familiarity effect. And basically all it says is that the more often someone is exposed to a person or a stimuli, the easier it is for them to trust them. That's all this is, right? The more often that you can show up in front of your entire network of agents on a video so that they see you and you're providing them some sort of value that is gonna make them wanna open up that email again, it's just gonna be easier for them to continue to send clients to you or you're gonna be in the top of their mind because you're establishing yourself as someone who's invested in their business, but you're also just showing up. So um, before I show this video, Josh, tell me what kind of um, like list capability or segmenting capability do they have inside of shape to make this really easy? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, our our platform is really status driven. So as you move people into different statuses within a particular pipeline, those people can automatically be receiving the appropriate content based on that status. So for example, we provide you with a separate pipeline for your referral partners so that they're not all mixed in with your leads and your current clients. Um, and then within your referral partners pipeline, you might have multiple statuses. You might have your VIP referral partners who you wanna provide a certain set of content within a ongoing drip campaign. So anyone that sits within VIP is receiving that messaging. Maybe you're also reaching out to a new community of potential referral partners that you wanna start collecting leads from. That could be a completely different drip campaign with different value um, and you can grow your network through that. So um, again, a lot of this content is pre-written. All you need to do is create your personalized video, add it to your templates, and then we're doing the rest. Love it. That makes it so easy. It's so streamlined. You can even you know, filter out where those referral partners fall, either when the VIP or the still prospecting. I love it. So um, this is a, I think he calls these his tip of the week or whatever, but I'll play this video for you. This is Eric. Um, and he's doing just this, right? He's just providing some value to his referral network, just staying in front of them, letting them know about some upcoming things. Um, but again, this is about maintaining that relationship, right? You're not just checking a box. What you're doing is you're making sure that your referral network knows that you are there, that you're involved, that you're in front of them. And they're just keeping up that relationship and the familiarity effect. So check this out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Peltier with Citywide Home Loans. Thanks for watching my quick Wednesday mortgage minute for May 1st. Can you believe we got snow on the flat irons for May 1st? Uh, first of all, uh, I'm again gonna invite you to join me for the Tom Ferry event, May 21st and 22nd. I am driving my big car down there. I'll have your favorite breakfast burrito and Starbucks coffee. I will park the car, I'll drop you off. Uh, I'll take care of navigation, all that great stuff. So I'd love to have you join me for that event if you got the time. Rates are still very good. I'm still quoting purchases and refinances in the low to mid 4%. Uh, you know, uh, we just keep riding this uh, wave of low rates as long as we possibly can. Hey, everybody. 
So as you see from that video, that would be a great one for him to send to his VIP group, right? Because he's inviting them to an event. He's going to bring them breakfast burritos and really take care of them. And then you have that capability inside of Shape to really be able to, you know, filter out where those people are. So really cool stuff there. Um, this last one is all about maintaining past client relationships. So I'm gonna tell you my quick personal story on this before I show you this example. Um, so my house that I'm in here right now, I bought this house four and a half years ago, it was not my first house, um, my first home purchase, but it was my first home purchase all by myself after my divorce, doing it all solo. So even though I had bought houses before, it was definitely a little bit intimidating and overwhelming. Um, my lender was a recommendation from my agent and she was great. She held my hand through the process. She made sure that I, you know, felt good about everything. She explained everything. I had a really, really positive experience with her. She was referred to me by Jose Medina, who's my realtor, who I absolutely love. Here's the deal. Since the point in time when that loan closed four and a half years ago, I've never heard a word from her. I don't remember her name. I don't know what company she works for. And I just refinanced in December. Now, had I wanted to reuse her again, I would have had to try and filter through four years of my inbox, right? To maybe try and find out who it was that did my loan the first time. Whereas Jose, who I love, I would refer anyone to Jose over and over and over again, Jose is constantly dropping donuts by my house and sending things and sending videos. And I get homebot emails from Jose, right? All of these things to maintain that relationship. Whereas the lender didn't get my refinance because I didn't know who she was. So this is a powerful way to maintain that relationship in a really easy, scalable way. For example, sending a quick happy birthday video right? You can have this already recorded and scheduled as part of your follow-up inside of Shape, I'm assuming, correct? You're assuming correctly. Uh, yeah, a birthday message is a good example of a trigger or uh, another way to say that is a one-time communication. So we can automate happy birthday messages to previous clients or to uh, referral partners. And again, obviously, including that video speaking to them directly as opposed to just including a cheesy little piece of clip art, uh, it really makes a huge difference. It's a huge difference. And, and again, the difference from a consumer side, right? Either getting the, the email, yeah, that has the clip art graphic, like a cupcake dancing that says happy birthday, that doesn't create a relationship. That does not help me remember who that lender is or that I even like them. Whereas a quick video that's as simple as saying, hey, Alicia, happy birthday. I don't know if you know this or not today, but today is actually uh, National Peach Cobbler today. So if you're not a big fan of cake, maybe you could try some peach cobbler. You know, just want you to know I'm thinking about you. Okay, so I actually already had done the lookup to see what national silly national holiday it was today. It's Peach Cobbler Day, right? You could set up these triggers in your uh, Shape Software CRM ahead of time where you just do the quick Google search, see, you know, when their birthday falls, have a quick fun nugget or something, you know, interesting about that day, pre-record it, and then it'll kick out on that trigger of their birthday. So you can do this one-to-ones. I also would really encourage you um, for holidays to send a mass video to your entire list of past clients and your referral network. Um, it's really easy to record a 30, 40 second video on Christmas or Hanukkah or New Year's or 4th of July or Valentine's Day just to get in front of them and say, hey, I'm thinking about you. Have a good day. So I'm going to show this video for you. Um, and then I'm going to let Josh actually jump in to shape and show you how it works. But um, this is our friend Joe. And Joe actually says that this is his secret weapon as a lender because he's a numbers guy, right? His clients only know him as, you know, the dude doing their mortgage file and harassing them for documents and sending them emails saying, I need another copy of your tax returns. And so Josh, um, sorry, Joe loves this so much because what he says 
is that it humanizes his relationship with his clients, right? He does it with his family so they get to see his why. They get to have that like, oh, look at his family. And because Joe has been doing this for so many years, I've actually seen multiple of Joe's holiday videos. I've watched Joe's kids grow up, right? His clients are having that same experience year after year of seeing his sweet family grow up and it helps them feel more connected to him. I'm telling you, an agent that sends out a happy birthday video once a year and maybe one or two mass holiday videos throughout the year. And then, you know, you send your updates on rates or whatever for refinance when it makes sense. No one forgets that lender. If you're sending a video out to your clients and your referral network with your family saying Merry Christmas or Happy Valentine's Day or Happy Fourth of July, they're not going to forget you. So check this out. And then I'm going to let Josh take the reins and demo um, inside the platform. Great. Hello, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm Maddie Soto. I'm Mommy Soto. I'm Brooklyn Soto. And I'm Daddy Soto. And yes, we are representing with our Yankee pajamas. And yes, I am making them wear these awesome pajamas on Christmas. They look so happy, don't they? Anyway, from me and my family to you and yours, Merry Christmas. Wanted to just say uh, thank you for all your love and support throughout the year. And very, very grateful for uh, all of the wonderful people in our lives. So from my family to yours, Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Super easy, right? They record that one video and it goes out to every single one of his past clients and his referral network. Um, and he's really doing a good job of maintaining those relationships. All right, so we're definitely gonna take time at the end for Q&A, um, but before I do that, I'm gonna hand it over to Josh so that he can actually jump into Shape Mortgage CRM and show you how easy it is. Excellent. Um, are you guys able to see my, no, I need to click share screen. How about now? Yep. Is that working okay? All right, excellent. So I'll share a couple of things and then uh, looking forward to taking some questions with you guys. But uh, what you are looking at right now, just to provide some context, is an individual contact record within your CRM database. So we're looking at Bethany here. And just to give you a real quick example of how uh, our integration with BombBomb can work uh, without making things difficult for you, let's say you want to send a text message to Bethany. You can click your little chat bubble here. We give you a few different ways to create your messaging, your wording. So you can either type in any message you want. I'll just throw some gibberish in there for now. Um, you can also choose from a long list of pre-written content that comes with your account and it automatically populates. You don't have to write anything. And you have the ability to actually now click your little microphone button and you can talk your message into whatever device you're logged into. And when you're done recording, it actually transcribes everything that you just said. So we're taking typing off of your plate because I know that's really tedious for people. If you want to add a bomb bomb video, you click the bomb bomb button and your bomb bomb library pops up right within your shape account, which means you're not leaving the platform that you're working within to go log in somewhere else and waste that time. Our goal is to put time back into your day. You can grab the video you want to include in this message uh, from your library and then send it off. Shape is using a lot of technology on the back end to ensure deliverability of all of this content so that as you add things like videos, if you were to send this video from your personal cell phone, it may have some trouble getting to the recipient. If you send an email with video to uh, an individual from your personal email account, you may have trouble getting that email into the inbox with a large file. We have things built in place to make sure that you're not having any issues there. So a couple of things, I'm gonna click on settings in my navigation bar at the top of my screen. And actually, I already have this open. It's like a cooking show where I show you how I do it. And then I pull the finished product out of the oven. But we have an integrations tab within our settings. And you can see BombBomb here on the right, one of many vendors that we integrate with. So 
you can connect really easily. As long as you have a Shape account and a BombBomb account, uh, the integration is completely free. Uh, if I come back to my settings bar on the left, you can see that we have already created, as I've mentioned a couple times already today, tons of content for you. So here, I've pulled up our email templates. We've already created for you over 200 mortgage specific emails that come with your shape account that you are welcome to use. Uh, of course, you can create your own as well. And they're not all for your borrowers. Some of them are for agents and referral partners and so on. We wanna keep everybody um, updated and gathering relevant data. Um, I just accidentally clicked on a random email. So you can see that this email is already written for you. Before it goes out, it will auto populate with the recipient's name, as well as your complete email signature at the bottom. If you need to make a change to this content, it can be done even on the fly, right? And then when you're ready to add your bomb bomb video, all you have to do is click your little video camera icon here. This is going to pull up your bomb bomb video library, just like we did with the text messaging. And now this video you've chosen lives in this email. Every time we auto deliver this email for you, it will include your video messaging. Oh, I lost your audio, Alicia. I can't hear you. Sorry, I had myself muted. Um, <laughs> does anyone have any specific questions to um, the platform here inside of Shape um, while Josh has his screen share up? Because, you know, this is a great opportunity if you've got questions around um, functionality inside of Shape for him to really show you. Let's see. I'm going to keep an eye here on the questions. There was a Q&A that you already answered. Um, someone wanted to know, does the CRM have SMS built in? You already answered that, it sure does. Really cool. All right, I don't see a ton of questions popping in about the platform. Um, is there a way in one of the emails to record a video live? Um, or is it generally for adding a video that you've already recorded to the system or can they access the bomb bomb recorder right in there? Yeah, my experience is that people are adding videos that have already been created. Um, but that is an excellent question and I can certainly find out and we can follow up with everybody. Okay. Well, and just yeah. um, for those of you that are watching, if you're not a shape user and you're a bomb bomb <laughs> user, um, that Chrome extension, you know, you can log into your Shape Mortgage CRM with the Chrome extension and record any video in the Chrome extension that would automatically connect to the video library there um, in Shape as well. So I'm not sure about the actual recorder um, about the capability in there or not. I don't know if Todd or Shannon has any insight into that. Okay, so Shannon said, yes, you can record directly within shape. So um, I'm not sure exactly where that is, but if that's something that you're curious about, um, shape customers, definitely reach out to your team there and they can show you where um, you can record live. So um, I don't see a ton of questions rolling in, but I am curious. Um, how, where your interest level is at, you know, the whole goal of having a partner webinar like this is so that, you know, those of you that have never seen shape can be exposed to shape and those of you shape customers that have never seen bomb bomb could be exposed to bomb bomb and we really want to make sure that you do um, get the information you need so i'm just going to launch a poll real quick. Um, and just let us know if you want to learn more okay so just. Click one of the icons. This is no pressure uh, if you want to learn more so that your options are I'd like to learn more about shape software. I'd like to learn more about bomb bomb both tell me more about both or no thanks I just came for the donuts. Um, sorry guys I forgot those donuts didn't know how to get them to you most effectively but. <laughs> um, I'll give you guys a few seconds while you're um, answering that looks like we have some more questions that came in. Um, if you're texting with a client, what does the text trail look like? Is it easy to see the full conversation? 
Yes, great question. The answer is yes. So coming back to Bethany's contact record here, if you have an ongoing text conversation with her, you will see the entire conversation on this screen in your left-hand sidebar. It will look just like a text conversation looks like today on your phone. You'll have a bubble from Bethany, you'll have a bubble from yourself back and forth. That's one area where you can see the entire conversation. But in addition to that, we also at the top of the contact record have something called the contact log. And we are tracking, of course I pulled up a contact with no text messages sent or received in here, but your text messages will be logged here with date and timestamps, just like your phone calls are as well. So you'll have a record of that in your contact log as well. Nice. Um, can we integrate our Outlook contacts into Shape? Good question as well. Um, so a couple things here. I'm gonna open up the profile for this Shape user. And within your profile, we can integrate with your existing uh, email provider. So this is going to do some important things for you. The main one is that all of the emails that we are auto delivering for you, they're all coming directly from your existing email account. So none of those emails will look automated because they're coming from you. They are normal emails. People can hit reply and respond directly to you. Um, but you are going to have a much higher open rate, a much higher read rate, and a much bigger return on your outbound messaging as a result of this integration. When you move forward with a new Shape account, what we do to get you set up is collect a CSV file from you with all of your existing contacts, and we actually migrate those contacts into your Shape account for you so that you don't have to do it. Nice. That makes it really easy. Um, there was a follow-up question on the texting um, question. Uh, Jim was wanting to know if you're notified by email um, when they're responding to text messages. Awesome. You guys are asking all the correct questions. Um, I'm going to come back into the profile and we'll get out of the email settings and go into the notification settings. And you actually get to choose how you are notified for all of these different activities. So if you look at the third one on the list on the left, when I get a new text message, I have the option to be notified with an email in my inbox, a text message on my cell phone, a pop-up on my computer screen, as well as a notification on our newly revamped uh, mobile app, which is free to download both for iPhone and Android. So please go and check that out. Um, our developers did an amazing job of creating a beautiful uh, notification center so that things are just popping up in your app. Yeah, that is slick. <laughs> yeah. That Really, really slick. Good job, Safe Shape Software team. <laughs> um, any other questions? They're kind of slowing down there. Um, I don't know if we're going to have any other questions pop in here. We'll give it another minute or so. Uh, if we don't have any other questions, um, let's see. Josh, do you want to um, just turn off your screen share for a second there unless we get any other questions that are going to pop back in there? Perfect. You got it. Well, I don't see questions rolling in, so um, we'll let you guys get out of here and get back to your day. But um, for those of you that said you were interested in learning more either about BombBomb or Shape Software or both, um, thank you so much for letting us know in the poll questions there. Um, we're going to follow up with you with more information. We want to make sure that you get all of your questions answered. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Josh, thank you for providing tons of information um, about the functionality there in shape. We're happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. This was a lot of fun. I hope it was valuable for all of you. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, 
if you have questions specific to your platform, uh, reach out to your own support team, either Bomb Bomb or Shape. Um, we'll reach out with follow up information. Have an incredible Tuesday. Thank you guys all for joining us. Look forward to seeing you on a future webinar.